Hey guys, it's John and welcome back to my playthrough of Elden Ring. This is part 13. In this video we are going to be going into the Kaled region for the first time. In the last video we wrapped up most of our major affairs in Lyurnia. I found what I thought to be almost all the caves and almost all the optional bosses. There were a couple places that I still had yet to go but I was locked out of because I haven't finished Ronnie's quest yet. But Ronnie needs us to go to the festival, which is in uh, Kaled, which is over here. So in this video, um, I'm gonna be exploring a bit. I'm gonna be going to these points to get uh, the maps and uh, we'll be taking our first pass through Kaled, probably just uh, uncovering locations, maybe talking to some NPCs like the finger reader crone, maybe not. Uh, but uh, it should be fun. Should be, and uh, I'm not totally done with Limgrave or with the Arnia, but I am ready to move on to the next place and uh, start uncovering some new things, having some new adventures. So, hope you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, thanks. Remember when we fought the Tibia Mariner here? Oh, good times, so it was what, part two? And now look at us. Now look at us go. Now, if I remember correctly, over here there's a church, and the church has uh, an NPC invader that I did not do well against way earlier in the playthrough. I went up against them in like part six or something like that, and we'll see how we fare against them this time. However, before we go over there, I'm going to try to avoid it for now, see if we can get to Possibly Another save point. Wow. Oh these dogs. Oh, no Are these dogs gonna be everywhere in Kaled? I can already tell drawstring lightning grease. That's a pretty decent item. I got two of them. That's a decent item right there That's the Erd tree Oh, is that a minor Erd tree? That's a minor Erd tree, right? Or wait, no, this is like the Erd tree. It's just over here. Well, there's like a fort up here, too? Interesting. Hi. Yeah, no slacking on the job, buddy. Oh my god. Are you okay, dude? Have a raisin. Go ahead and have a raisin. <laughs> there's a big jar up there. Look at this. Look, there's a guy up there. Oh my gosh, there's a guy down here. So what are these guys? I actually don't know. There's poison. Who's putting out poison, you? Who, did somebody like throw like a poison bomb or something? Guardian mask. Nice, dude, that guy up there. He's sitting pretty smug, isn't he? Okay. Let me get this. Yeah, I'd be pretty smug too if I was an idiot like you guys. Idiots are always smug. Yeah. And usually dead. <laughs> Got him good. Um Oh wow, don't don't fall down there. No good. Wow, okay, yeah, maybe I'll come up on the cliff. Okay, yeah, so that's the Erd tree, and this is a minor Erd tree. Wow, it's like growing out of the side of the cliff over there. What is this? Kaled. Oh, now we're in Kaled. Dude, we weren't in Kaled before? Is this like the border? Oh, border town here. Okay, I see a big weird-ass crow over there and a side of grace Are you gonna attack me? Look at him big old bird Nascent butterfly fantastic Ew. Look at that, there's a bunch of these guys around. Oh, there's one right there too! Maybe we'll just avoid them for now. Okay, dead guy here in the shack of the rotting. He had some preserving boluses on him though. 
Wait, what? Oh. Where'd you come from? One of these things, I don't know what these things are called. Trash, garbage? Only 60 runes? All right. Oh, what the, I was looking at my map! What is that status effect? Is that the Scarlet Rot? Because isn't that why the ground here is like red because of the Scarlet Rot? I thought I read that somewhere. In the lore, one of the lore notes. This has been fun so far. Wow. Look at the blood red sky, Caleb. Very intense. Takes itself a bit too seriously in my opinion. Now, if I were to fall down right here. I think I need to do that, okay. I'm gonna take this. Are you? Paying attention? The answer is no. You are not paying attention. <laughs> Look at all the jars. Bunch of jars over here. You ain't getting in, bro. He's the bouncer. He's the jar bouncer, y'all. Okay. Now, with that said, I want to go over to this tr uh, church. I almost said tree, just because there's a bunch of trees over there. I had trees on the brain. I'm gonna go over to this church and uh, we'll see if we can't take out this NPC over here. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, where are you? Invaded by Anastasia Tarnished Eater. You dodged? You dodged my attacks. Oh, dude. Nice dodge. Okay, I hit her with part of it. And it's just that easy. Anastasia Tarnish Eater. Looks like I ate you. <laughs> Sacred Scorpion Charm. All right, we got a uh, Side of Grace here, the Smoldering Church. Do we also have, ooh, we got some treasure. Do we also have some Sacred Tears? Or no, did y'all eat them? The Manic Wars Cookbook 14, Missionary's Cookbook 3. Is there any way to see which of these cookbooks unlocks what for crafting, or is that forbidden knowledge? Sacred Scorpion Charm raises holy attack but lowers damage negation. I don't really do a whole lot of holy stuff, so no worries. I can make all the boluses now, look at this. Build up of sleep, frost, blood lost, scarlet rot, and uh, madness. The one that I don't have, poison. I don't have the poison build up, bolus. And that's the by far the most common status effect. Ooh, to eliminate or alleviate Scarlet Rot buildup and, and cure the rot, we need to find a sacramental bud, exceedingly rare to find. Hey, anybody got any bud around here? You asked that, a college campus. People think you're a narc. Um, oh, this is the Divine Tower of Limgrave, look at that. All right, well, uh, so far, We've had a pretty easy time of it in Kaled. Not, uh, not trying to brag, but I knew it all along. Okay, so if I wanted to get this map, how, hmm. So this right here, by the way, this deep seal for a well, that's where we came up, um, I believe in like two videos ago or something like that. And I was like, oh shit, we're in Kaled, what? Dude, while I was gone, this happened. What the fuck? They it's like, it's like, oh my God. No, free me of the Scarlet Rot. Why were they all here? Oh look, there's another one. 
Anyway, these things just like appeared out of nowhere. Were they there before and I just didn't see them or what? Oh, a golden rune, ugh. 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 Oh, there's a big one right here. You know what? Got ourselves a big one, huh? That didn't even one-shot him. He's a strong one. He didn't even oh. drop anything. So I thought that since he was a big one that he would drop something. As it turns out, he does not. Uh, we'll just follow along the main road for now. We're just, uh, we're just doing main road things. Um, do you see this shit? What? Do you see this over here? No. I was hoping to hit this thing. Um, look at all the dogs chowing down. I hate these things. No! Uh. Whirl, oh flame! Oh, oh! Bruh, let's get out of here! Holy shit! <laughs> oh, ugh, they, even, they look so weird. I'm sorry y'all are starving, I really am, but I can't help you. Kalem ruins, oh, great, some ruins. Maybe, you know, I could hang out in here for a while, you think? Okay, I need to go this way. The Kalem ruins. You got Kalid, you got Kalem. Okay, looks like the dogs have uh, left me alone. Uh, they actually, they didn't seem that, whoa. Mm -mm. They blow up. Oh, they just come out of this fire too. So, they're never ending. Okay, so you know how, like, there are, like, towns and shit around? Oh my god. In, uh, in other regions, there's, like, towns and stuff, right? Um... I can't see anybody living around here, can you? This is another one of these things, see? Ugh. No? Does anyone live in Kaled? Are there any, like, towns or castles? Or I mean, I say towns, you know. Like the... I, I guess there's really no towns. Are there merchants here in this region? How? How could you even, how could you even live around here? I'm, you know what, I think I'll just, I'm content to withdraw. There's actually not a whole lot around here. Oh God. One of them just blew up and hit a bunch of the other ones. As fascinating as this has been. Should I go this way? This is south. Or should I, I should keep going this way, right? Okay, let's uh, hop over here. Grail's Dragon Barrel. Now, I, I don't know how I feel about that. Does that mean there's a dragon nearby? Is there a dragon around? Um... <laughs> is there a dragon around? I don't see one. It's windy and raining. 
Now, what? remember what happened last time with the dragon. It just, like, came out of nowhere. Okay, right here. Here's a map. Let's get it. Dragon Barrow. Cool, man. What? <gasps> oh, there's a dragon, all right. Yep. Yep. Okay. You have fun over there. Gonna... Gonna get that. New map has been found. Look at that. All right. And then it's got the bestial sanctum with Grank. He wants us to weed their death root. There's a, there's a dragon on this bridge, too. Lots of dragons. Um, the deep Seofra well is right there. We got the Celia Crystal Tunnel. That's where I originally got teleported to at the beginning of the game. Dude, let's go there. Because remember when we first were here, and we basically just had to run from everything? Ugh. But now we can properly explore it. Yeah? So I'm gonna do that, okay? So, all the way back in part one. If, if you're having trouble remembering, I'll try to jog your memory. I opened a chest, okay? Like, about 40 minutes into the game. And, um... The chest teleported me to this mine. And I had a hell of a time in here against these guys, and I'm wondering if it's gonna be better now. Oh yeah. It's already better. The Santa Priest! The Santa Priest is here. I'm killing your, uh... I'm killing your guys! Run from me, Santa Priest! Fear me! Fear me, Santa Priest! Oh, remember when I just had to stand there and take it? Ugh, not anymore. Smitting Stone 5. Smitting Stone 5, nice. Wait! Oh, there's another one. Okay, you know what? Alright, you dickhead. Now here, here's where I teleported in. He's up there. Is there, is there any way I can get up there? Actually, let's see, I think you can. Oh, look at you slithering off. Look at him. Coward. Going over here for now. Ooh. Oh! I fell. Hi, buddy. <laughs> I love how much they don't pay attention. Thanks, dude. Alright, where are you? Here he is. Yeah! Oh! He was a little tougher than the other one. We got him, though. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him! Even- even without doing the sneak attack, I can- I can hit him pretty- pretty easily. There. Oh, this was so good to be here and just kicking everybody's ass, dude. There's actually a- ooh, there's a way in over there. Hello. I tried to do a stealth attack, but it didn't work. So, this isn't a late game area, I think, like I originally characterized it uh, when I first went here, but how was I supposed to know? I didn't have the context. It's it's more like a, it's, it's a mid-game area, right? This, I would say that, ooh. Okay. What about this? What about this? Ow! Uh... Okay. 
He does that, he does that stupid spell over and over again really quickly. Runark. I've noticed he does it really fast. Ugh, anyway. We'll go down there and we'll kill him in, in a second. Okay, Smithing Stone 5 is all over this place, which I really appreciate. Let's go over here. Oh, I can't quite hit that. But there's a cave over here. What's up? Be wary of right. Why? Oh, just this guy? Oh, who cares? That's why. Okay. I understand. Okay, yeah, I understand why now. I understand why you told me to do that. No, there's no hidden path. By the way, I saw a clip on Twitter today. This is old news by now, because you're in the future. But, just because you hit it once, doesn't necessarily mean that the hidden path ain't there. If you keep wailing on it, it can appear, which is annoying. Underground tomb ahead. No hidden path ahead. See, like, we don't know who's telling the truth. Who's gonna sit there and hit it for ages and find out? Oh, okay. This guy's got something. Hello. I'll take it. Somber smithing stone four. We're getting good smithing stones, guys. Weeding the death root. Oh my god. Oh. I hate you. I hate you. Yeah, curl up and die, idiot. Sorry. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. It's not like my wife when she plays video games. She says stuff like that. She'll say, I hate you. Die, bitch, die. I hate you. And she doesn't have an accent normally. <laughs> but it comes out when she's playing video games. That's her favorite things to say. I hate you and die, bitch, die. She says those two things. <laughs> Can I pop this down? Yeah, I can. Oh, I don't think so. Oh my god. Quickly. Quickly! Because unfortunately, I don't have any more health flasks, so I'm just kind of... Out here on my own. Oh, I want to see something real quick. Actually, over here, over here. You can drop down. Oh, we can get this, we can get this. I think. Can I hop down? Yeah. And. Oh. That's hard to get. It's just five cuckoo glinstones. Wake me up when it's something interesting. Okay, we gotta be careful here. Because unfortunately, have no, again, have no health flasks left. Vulgar militia. Oh, I hear it. There's like, there's like two sets of priests over here. I was hoping I could summon. Okay, I'm gonna come back to this. I'm gonna go uh, refresh my flasks and then we'll be back. Cause this is the way to go up here. This is the way to go. And that'll be 25 vigor. All right, 25 vigor, yeah. Okay, now uh, since we rested there, all of the enemies have respawned. So I'm actually gonna be like moving through this pretty fast. We gotta get to that ladder right there. I'm, s I'm wondering if we can speed run it.
Or if, oh, we can just tank the damage. Yeah. It worked, okay. It works now. We're gonna have to be careful right here. I would like to go up there because there's two Senna Priest guys, but I know this guy's gonna tattle on us as soon as it happens. Maybe we can get him to follow us over here though, and then we can still, if we could get a sneak, a sneak sword, uh, sword fight against them, that would be sick. What? Now, if we could get a flame attack off on these guys, that would be so cool. Okay, but before we go, somber smithing stone, anyone? Faithful's Canvas Talisman. Uh, or rather, right here. Faithful's Canvas. Where is that? Here. Raises potency of incantations. Is there a boss here? I, I, I bet you, oh god. Boss. Oh, we're gonna get destroyed. Let's fight. Falling Star Beast. Okay. I tried to dodge it. There we go. Okay. Oh no. I don't have any, okay. Get up. No, I was about to take a sip. So it's like a, it's like an earwig or like I guess the opposite of an earwig. It's bug with pinchers. Okay, here we go. No, I don't think so. Nice, dude. My poor jellyfish is actually handling this very well. What are you doing? Summer Smithing Stone 6 and Smithing Stone 7, Gravity Stone Chunk. Two of them, Somber Stone Miner's Bell Bearing. I got a lot of loot out of that. All right. You know what? I feel very good about this. I feel very good about this. We we came, we saw, we conquered. Yeah, I, now I feel like we can investigate the rest of the region in peace. Knowing what happened and everything uh, to us at the beginning of the playthrough, now we're here. And, uh, we've come so far, you know? And, uh, hello. Look at this. 
I remember seeing this in part one and being like, what the hell? Okay, where are we going? We're trying to get here. Which actually... Hmm, there's no, I don't, I haven't, I haven't gotten any, uh, sights of grace over here. Let's just see if we can go. Let's see if we can go. There's a lightning field over here, it looks like. Let's just see if we can cut across. Or not a lightning field, it's one of these things. Swamp of Aeonia. Okay. I'm just exploring, okay? What? Okay. I'm not going in there. No way, dude. Could I go in there? Oh. Oh, you can go in there. Look at that. So is this like poison water, but instead it inflicts scarlet rot? That sounds about right. What happened to Kaelid? Look at this. How does... What? An invader? Invaded by Millicent. Okay. Good. Oh, what you dodged it. Okay. Somebody's got a fancy katana, it looks like. Gone to their head a little bit. Japanese steel. What the hell? Why is this one so big? Why is it so big? That's what she said. Yeah, we're in Kaled. Oh, there's a. Oh, oh. Okay. Wait, what's over here? Stop it! Oh, one of these fucking things. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Give me this. Somber Smithing Stone. Five, even. Um... Glenstone Firefly. Nice, uh, nice Glenstone, bro. Where's Millicent? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, she was so close! Millicent! Ugh. This Millicent person. First of all, you invade me? And then you have the nerd to be so smug about it? Can I just say, it wasn't lost on me that she wasn't getting any scarlet rot. Despite rolling around in it over and over again. Tell me how does that work, huh? Oh, you can go up there. Oh, interesting. Okay, third time's the charm. We got her very good that last time. Part of the problem is, I only have enough mana to uh, get her like twice with the Sword of Night and Flames uh, fire attack, which works really well on her from what I can tell. I don't wanna really... 
going to want to really not die here. Come on. No! Dude! I couldn't even get one hit on her! I couldn't even get one hit! Look at how smug she is! Oh, I'm gonna stand in the Scarlet Rot water and nothing's gonna happen to me, ha <laughs> ha! Sacramental Bud. Golden Rune 3, Golden Rune 5, Golden Rune 10. Ah, she's dead. Now, I did kind of, I did kind of bully my way through it. <laughs> I am fully ready to admit that. I did bully my way through that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is like Ash of War, Poisonous Mist. I like to just collect Ash of War and not do anything with it. Personally, that's my favorite thing to do. Can I go? Oh, I, I can go up this way, I think. All right, let's go. Is that? I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Plant. Okay, right here. Yep. Got it. Map, Kaled. Got it. So now, okay, so we've, uh, so Caleb's only two maps. Wow, it's big. Whoa, look at all this. Celia, Town of Sorcery. Now that's, remember when we went through there in part one? Eesh. And then there's this big place. That's some kind of castle down there. Oh, it'd be cool if we could get a sight of Grace. I bet you if I go south, I'll find one. Like on the way there. Probably. Oh, there's a golden seed here. And doggos. So one of those things is good. The other one not so good. Okay, golden seed. Ooh. I like castles. Whoa, what's happening? What's getting hurt? Oh! Oh, the soldiers are fighting these guys. Big doggo fight! Look at all this. Y'all have fun with this. Thanks for the smoldering butterfly. Wow, okay, so they're the ones doing this. So they're 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 fighting doggos all day every day, huh? There's a way gate. Let's put um a little marker here for the way gate. And uh what what the hell? Let's step on through it, yeah! Travel to a different location. What you got for me? Anything interesting or fun? Red main castle. Oh, we're inside the castle. Well, I don't really want to do that yet. So, thanks but no thanks. I don't want to do red main castle first thing, are you serious? Now with that said, where do we want to go? Sounds like the Halo theme. Where's Master Chief? Okay, sorry, bad commentary over. Let's go here. I think what I want to do, we got to we got to help out our friend Iron Alexander cuz that tunnel down there. If you remember, this tunnel, he need to get to the other side. So, let's try to get to the other side of it. It's got to be somewhere over here like near it. You would think. I could be wrong. But, yeah, let's go along this side, see if we can't find something that maybe connects to it. Aha! Here we go. Now this isn't... Oh, wait. Oh, this is the one that I went into, isn't it? Oh, let's find out. It was already on my map, so... Oh, this is the one that Alexander was already in. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, this is different. I think. Oh, 
Oh. Hey, I think this is different. Although, admittedly, I can't really remember. There's a side of grace here. And if I went here earlier, I would have just gotten this. Okay, so this, we haven't been this way then, like, officially. Yeah, okay. Rear Gale Tunnel entrance. Ah, and then here's the other side. It was already marked on the map, though. So we gotta deal with more of these smithers, huh? Uh. That's right. Yeah, you want that to be you too? Huh? Huh? Okay. Okay, we got him. We got him easy. Another cave, another tunnel. Hey buddy, what are you what are you waiting for? Look, they're like observing the land octopus. Want me to take care of that for you? Because I will. No problem. Die. Radon soldier. Oh shit. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a big one over here. I have yet to beat one of these. Fuck off, dude. Yeah, you can't get in here, huh? How about this? How about this? Yeah? I hate you. Oh, I ran out. Okay. No worries. I hate these things. I got Land Octopus Ovary, which we need for crafting. You may remember. Smithing Stone 4, Silver Firefly. And a somber Smithing Stone. Across Nagi Katana. Uh, na nagi, nagi, Naginata is what it's called. Na nagi, nagi Katana. That's not what it is. It's got good deck scaling, but it's a spear, and I would. I think I'd rather quit the playthrough than play with a spear. No offense to all you spear users out there. I'm sure you have fun with it. It's just not. I'm more of a slashy guy than a stabby guy. Hi, buddy. Wow. <laughs> I love that attack. It's really funny. How about this? Oh, did your little horn do anything for you? Oh, they're all dead now. I wouldn't have done that if you hadn't sounded the alarm. I probably would have. Actually, I, I probably would have. What are you guys watching for? They're just bored, I guess. I don't know. Imagine someone, like, getting thrown over the side like that. And you just don't pay any attention. That's why these guys deserve to die. They just, their attitude towards everything is, not my problem. First they came for the Radon soldiers. And I didn't speak up. Then they came for me. And no one was left to speak up for me. That's the attitude that they have. Well, oh, oh, the door for Iron Alexander, I believe, is right here. Yeah, let's get it. Hey, buddy. Um, what? 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 Huh? Alexander was over here. I, I came all this way to open it up for you. Are you kidding? Where'd he go? Don't tell me he's like at the festival. Now, I'm going to upgrade my mind by three. <laughs> Maybe I'll get to use my 
the sword for more than like two times. Sorry, I just realized I like walked away as I was saying that. Um, very unprofessional of me. Let's go, I guess, take out the boss. Yeah, I mean, uh, what else do we have to do around here, you know? Okay. Something breathing really loud. It's got sleep apnea. Ooh. It's a magma worm. Hey, I've already fought the magma worm. I fought Magma Worm uh, Makar earlier. Here we go. I missed. And I got hit by that. Wait. Am I hitting that? Oh my gosh. Looking pretty good so far. Okay. So it actually did pretty well. Yeah. Yes. Dude. Yeah, that was a good ass kicking. I'm getting really cocky. Oh. <laughs> Get him, jellyfish. Yeah, dragon heart. Moon veil. Ooh. Is the moon veil a, a katana? Because. <gasps> It also does bloodlust build up. It's got intelligence scaling. It's got intelligence scaling. Now, what it doesn't have is faith, actually. Hmm. Okay, so, uh, let's see. So if I wanted to use that, let's see. That's pretty, pretty decent damage, actually. Um, let's see, I've got medium load still. Uchi Katana, so like, huh? No, that's the staff. Okay, so. Ooh, look at that. Dual wielding. Uh, fun. Uh, okay. I'm gonna, you know what? I've got tons of smithing stones. I'm gonna upgrade these and see see how it plays. Where is everyone? Dialis is just gone. The other guy was like, I'm gonna go find a holy thing to do. And then D is dead. Over here, look. Oh wait, his body's gone. Um. Well. Oh nah, yeah, you took. Uh, you think I die out. every single time I leave? Okay, strengthen armament. All right, let's try. Okay, so the moon veil takes somber smithing stones, and the uchi katana takes regular smithing stones. Let's get that. Plus two. Oh, I'm out of regular smithing stones? Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, let's get this one. Two. Three. Hmm. I've got enough summer smithing stone for. I just got a bunch of them. Okay, I'm not ready to do five yet. I'm gonna save, because I've only got one summer smithing stone five. And I don't know if I want to use it on this one just yet. But. Pretty good here. C deck scaling and C intelligence. Also does blood loss build up, which I like. So if we wanted to eventually go like dex build, let's go let's go fight stuff. Actually, no, I've got a bell bearing I need to use. I just got one in this video. 
Have you already forgotten? It's uh, over here. We're gonna offer a bell bearing. Somber Miner's Bell Bearing. So. Oh, it's just, a, it's just here, okay. We can actually buy smithing stones here. And the one smithing stones are pretty cheap. Let's get six and we can upgrade our uh, Uchi Katana. Rogier. Uh oh. Uh oh, we're running out of time. He's turning into a plant or something. Wow, the round table used to be so bustling and now it's basically just these two. And Nefeli is somewhere like around here. Shut up. Uchi Katana plus three. Ooh, plus four. Plus five. Plus six. <laughs> plus seven. Yeah, okay, nice. Actually, I just ran out of like runes. Let's do it. Let's let's just spend a bunch of money. Plus eight. Plus nine. We can do plus ten. Plus eleven. I thought that, I thought it just went up to plus ten. Fourteen. Do I want to keep doing this? Okay. Wow. Fifteen. Now, what's weird is the, the attribute scaling hasn't really increased. I mean, it has. Deck C now, it was D, wasn't it? I did not know that they got upgraded that much. Okay. Well, that's uh, certainly something to keep in mind. Uh, let's go try it out on someone. Some unsuspecting idiot. All right. Who's the idiot that we're gonna hit with this? Huh? Not these, not, not you. Not you, okay. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good. Now, let's try one-handing, so. Wait, what? Oh! That's the unsheath ability, it's this. And it uses up some FP. It's pretty good though. So we're one-handing the Uchi Katana now. And you also have the Unsheath. But it's a little different. It doesn't do magic damage, I think, is the difference there. Look at the wandering army here. Let's see. Let's see if I can unsheath and do some area of effect damage. Cause that could be that could be cool. Pretty good. Yeah, all right. It's really quick, too. Ooh. The unsheath ability is actually really nice. You can do it pretty quickly, too, which I like. I, I like the sort of uh, Night and Flame. The only thing is, the wind-up for the abilities is a lot longer than, like, that, for example. Huh. I think I think this might be a new a new thing because I, I did like the Sword Knight and Flame. It was nice for a few videos, but I think I want to go something else. I'm because I'm not really I'm not really using faith for anything else. Is the issue? I'm not using incantations. I would like to still go intelligence though. So this actually this this Moonveil Katana works great for that because it has intelligence scaling, and so I can still I can still do stuff like um, like pull out my staff. Or uh, pull my staff and and use spells. That's why that's why I meant to do. Yeah, larval tier. We've only got one. I totally understand. Goodbye. Till yeah. the next time. Oh, goodbye, dude. Okay, so now, God, they make it such a pain in the ass to do this. So now we gotta go to the. Weirdly, we have to go to the debate parlor and go all the way to Ranala because there's not... Oh wait, no, there is a... No, there is a side of grace near her. Okay, here we are. Hi. <sighs> is it time? Yes, okay, rebirth. Yeah. Now. Okay, so. Let's go, let's just go ahead and go to 25 Vigor. Dexterity. I'll go to intelligence there. 
Okay, actually, the Moon Veil requires 23 intelligence, so I'll go down a little bit. I'm gonna go up to 20 endurance. And then, let's see, we need 18 dexterity. I might go, I've got like 16 levels more. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do 30 vigor. Cause that makes me feel much better. And uh, we'll just pump up the dexterity a bit. We could do 25 dexterity, 25 intelligence. And then we've got two points left over. We could put that into vigor. Okay, so this is the new build. So I upped Vigor by seven, kept the same Endurance, uh, same Strength, upped Dexterity by nine, lowered Faith by 16, and uh, upped Intelligence by one. I think that that's gonna work out. I don't know how many Larval Tears there are, but um, we've already used two. I feel like if I found two and I'm this early in the game, then we'll be able to find plenty more. Oh, there's a spirit here. I don't think the spirit was here earlier. Hello. It's rotting. Everything. Rotting scarlet. The very earth that Caled rests upon. Encelia, town of sorcery. The eye the the end is nigh for all for us all. Sorry, I kept getting ahead of myself. Weird. Okay. Well. Let's see. Let's just go along this road and see what we find. This is the road to Celia, or Celia, town of sorcery. Okay, let's see how this goes now, you know? Oh, it doesn't go. Okay, this actually... Similar. Oh. Similar power to before. That's probably the intelligence scaling. With the, with the unsheathed here. You can tell the difference with the deck scaling, though. Okay, the unsheath on the Uchigatana isn't much better. And actually, I think the Moon Veils is better. Yeah. Like, the Uchigatana is good. Just watch. It doesn't actually do... Oh, my God. It doesn't actually do more damage. Okay, so... With that said, the dual wielding. Do I dual wield this weapon? I actually, I don't know, do I? Cause I was like, I, the entire game, ever since I got the Uchi Katana, I was like, well, if I find another one, I'll dual wield them, surely. Dual wielding katanas sounds awesome. But I haven't really had a chance to. Oh, there's a side of grace right here. I just didn't even see it. Let's go get it. Here we go, this will be good. We'll take it. Take a look at the map. Oh, okay, yeah, I should have gotten that before. The Kalem Ruins, which doesn't appear to have anything, frankly. Oh, what? What? Oh, you thought I missed that, didn't you? You thought I missed that. Oh, I didn't miss that, here I am. <gasps> Boss! Let's go. Can I summon? Double Mad Pumpkin Head. Ooh, that is good damage. Okay. Look at that damage! That's- that's the dual hit. That's the dual hit. That is good. Look at that! Look at that damage! Woohoo! I think I got blood loss build up from that. Wow. Okay. I'm sold. I'm sold on this. I wasn't sure until just now, but... Yeah, a little boss battle? That'll do it.
What's up? Visage shield. Oh, gross. You can't be serious. Oh, I just realized I've got a heavy load on. How? Um, let's... Oh, I took the, uh... I took the shield off and now I've got a medium load again. I was fat rolling, huh? I like how so many people at the beginning of the playthrough was like, how does he not realize he's fat rolling? It's like, well, I've never played a Souls game before and there was no fat rolling in Bloodborne, so why would it be a thing that I'd be like, oh, I'm fat rolling? I did say multiple times early on, I was like, why is the roll so bad? It's so bad and weird. Apparently, unless you specifically are just like, why am I fat rolling? It is, is it because of my equipment load? Is it too high? Could the reason that my roll is so bad be because of the equipment load being too high? Okay, there's a side of grace down here. There we go. Fantastic. On the, uh, on the road to Celia Town of Secrecy. <laughs> Uh, you know, leonia has got that, uh, beautiful swamp in the middle of it, and this thing has this fucking pile of refuse in the middle of it. Fantastic. Okay, let's keep going along the, ooh, road south. Looks like we got ourselves some, uh, Santa priests here. I wonder if I can unsheath at them. Oh, there's a dog, too! Ugh. Okay, we got one. Dog. 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 Okay. Woof. Let's get some blood loss filled up. Or we can just kill them. I really think going, what was it, 35 Vigor? Uh, was a great idea. <laughs> Fantastic, actually. Dude, there's just randomly a pumpkin head over there. He's looking very satisfied, smug and self-satisfied. Oh, wow. There's actually quite a bit happening over here. What are they doing? They're doing some kind of, uh, ritual over here. What is happening? Oh, it's just this crap. I don't know what that stuff is, but it's bubbling up. Now, what if... Too bad it aims... Er, don't aim at his head. Oh, sorry. Don't aim at his head, dude. Stop aiming at his head. It's literally, that's so good. Okay, we can take him out. Got a, I got a lot of blood loss there. These things go down so fast. Shit, yeah. Let's go around the side, actually. Oh, this guy needs to die. Quiet. Actually, this will be great right here. Right here, yeah! Dude, I am really liking this katana. Wow, how are you doing that? Dude, just don't worry about it. Wow, look, poor guy over here. Doesn't even know what hit him, oh. Okay, there we go. And, yep. Destroyed those guys. Michaela's Lily. So what are you guys doing over here? Just... Just hanging out? Kinda looks like it. Um... Hey, you know what? Let's go this way, yeah. Oh. Anyway, should we get back on the main road, or... Yeah, let's get back on the main road. Cause I'm not really sure what's off the beaten path over there. We can go exploring in Kaelid soon. I'm just kind of, I'm sticking to the path for now, you know. Just trying to find uh, sites of grace, you know. Hi. 
The Santa Priest goes down so easy now. There's three of them! There's three! Get off the road. Look at them taking their time. They also got a doggo with them. You know, let's uh, drink a blue flask. Just, just feeling good, all right? Whew. There's one left. There he is. Wow, that was pathetic. How the mighty have fallen, huh? Huh? That's... Okay. All right, listen, listen. You're, you're a bitch. Die. I'm sorry, but that guy really pissed me off. I almost went down against him. I wouldn't blame you if you clicked off the video. I would, I would probably exit out of shame if I died to that guy. I would say, you know what? 13 parts was a good run. But I just got to call it there after what just happened. You know, I think I think everybody would understand too. I think everybody would understand. Okay, so we're we're down at the bottom of the U. The Kalid Highway is actually what this is called. In case you were wondering, um, wow, there's just a lot going on here. I think I might want to go look. Look at this. This interests me. And I know it's like back where I just came from. Oh, there it is. Look. A fort, and there's some ruins over here as well. The Kalid Waypoint ruins, by the way. Oh. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, what? Can you get up? Oh, yeah. What? Okay. Had to unsheathe. There we go. I don't know what the Scarlet Rot thing is, but I don't want to know. Oh, that's such a good ability. Oh, that's so good, dude. Unsheathe is awesome. Oh, it. Get out of there. Whoa. Scarlet Rot, what does that do? What? Dickhead! <sighs> okay, it's like, so it's like poison, but worse. Oh yeah, it's going, it's going ham right now, actually. You did that to me? Oh, you can't just wait this one out either. Okay, item crafting, item crafting. This actually does it. Let's get this and, and use it. Use. You know what, while we're here, instead of Roa Raisin, let's get that thing out, actually. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's up here. The preserving boluses. Rot grease. Rot grease, so you can put Scarlet Rot on your weapon. Shit, dude. Hell yeah. That you are wasting everyone's time. Just saying. <laughs> Your parents are not proud of you, just so you know. So, what is this ruin over here? Is there something. There's actually. There's nothing in here. You can't be serious. Is there something further this way? Ah. Uh... Oh! Dude, that scared the sh shit out of me. That's what I thought, you idiot. Pest glaive. You know, I, I don't like calling people idiots. I take no joy in it. 
Um, but those guys... Those guys can get fucked. Okay. I think I took it off of my quick select, but lantern? They're like little ones. It's the Santa Priest breeding grounds, y'all! Must kill! Okay. Wow. Uh, yeah, these are like little baby Santa priests. They're gonna. Oh, you're gonna grow up to be so nasty! Goodbye. Who's still alive? You? Oh. And that's that, right? Yeah, okay, we got them all. The Santa Priest breeding ground. Now it's their burial ground. <laughs> Wolf? I don't know what that means. What do you mean? What's up? You called? Meteoric Ore Blade. What is this? It's another katana? And it's got intelligence scaling? That's very interesting. Very interesting that I get two katanas. So early. In the region. I, all I had to do was come here. I just didn't know. Or I would have. If I... They've been hoarding all the katanas here in Kaelid. Oh, Stone Sword Key Cave over here. Um... I actually don't have them. Damn. Okay, let's... There we go. We'll put a little uh, skull here so that we can come back to it. But we need the stone sword key to come back to this. In the meantime, we can go uh, up there, check out the fort. Hey, what's up, dude? Get up, get up, get up. Oh, we got... We got... Oh, no! Look, it's one of these, my quest. Knight. My holy quest. Hmm. Doth there a, f a fair maiden in mine presence? That's those guys. All right, dude. Oh, yeah, you want to do this? Oh, ho, ho. Look at, look at you. Scary. Yes! My quest, no! They never drop anything, these guys. Selfish bastards to the very end. Everything's all about you and your quest. You don't even, they don't even like take any treasure with them so that whenever another valiant knight such as myself finally fells them, then they get a nice, uh, Reward. Slumbering egg? I'm sorry, if there's something alive in this egg and it's sleeping right now, I'm not sure I want to keep it. Oh. It's a crafting item. Owl eggs that will never hatch. Oh. Prized as a symbol of the most sublime slumber. Hmm, the owls are more than they seem. I butchered that quote. The elves are more than they seems. You know, that's the quote. The elves. You know, the elves. They're more than they seems. Oh, a big encampment here. What the, what the fuck? What? Um, yeah, okay. Hang on. No, no, no. I'm going up there right now. Excuse me, guys. We're killing this guy right now. I don't think so.
Get him. You. You were cheating. Do you see? Wait, am I fat rolling now? I am! Why am I fat rolling? Wait, whoa, no, we gotta get to the bottom of this right now. Why am I fat rolling? Heavy load? Says who? I'll get rid of this then. I'll get rid of the staff. What? It's still a heavy load? It's because of the rune arc. The rune arc had a higher endurance. The banished knight armor is seven or sixteen. Is there something maybe better? The twin armor? We could do the twin armor. I mean, it's not. Yeah, this is D's armor. Although it is weird, actually. I'm not sure I want it. Actually, it's weird. It's got this weird. Yeah, my twin thing on it. What if we take the Uchi Katana off? Because we're not really using it, are we? We're mostly just using the Moon Veil. Where are my runes? Oh, they're way over there. <laughs> they're way over there. I need to go get those, actually. It's a good thing I didn't die over here. Okay, well, this has been an incredible foray into the... The depths of Kaled. I'm actually gonna go get my 20,000 runes over here that I completely forgot. Oh, 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 oh. That's an Elden Ring moment right there. That's an Elden Ring moment. Am I right? Wow. Wow. Kaled really is just an uninhabitable mess, isn't it? There's two. Okay, um, well, this is... I think I gotta get on the horse. Flame, grant me strength, is what I just got. What? Oh! Not you! Oh my- Actually... There we go. There we go. Alright, got him. Alright. What's up, smoldering butterfly? That's what that's the best you got? <sighs> wow. Are they all dead? Please. Wow, so that's what we got back here. Fascinating. Hey, look! Is that Fort Height? That is, that's Kenneth's little fort over there. Look at it! Yeah, it's just across the pond! This looks very similar, actually, in a lot of ways. Um, let's go in through the front door, then, because... I'm ready to go check this place out. It's probably a smaller fort. Kind of like Kenneth's fort, you know? Oh, wait. It's locked? Or it's closed? Or can I- can I go in? What? How you go in? This is Steak of America. Okay, wait, wait. Um... Do you go around... Do you go around this way? Oh, you do. Okay. This is the way in. This is the way in back here. Yeah! Alright. I got it. Keep looking over for for chat. I'm used to streaming. Um, 
and doing that. When I'm like, oh, when I'm like gaming for like a long time. Hey, it's one of those lion guys. Remember those? It's okay. This guy has, he's just completely clueless. What do you think is going on down there, bro? What do you think is going on? Do you think the lion's just losing their shit for no reason? Got some warming stones. I mean, like, what do you think is going on down there? That poor guy. He has no idea how to get up here. Absolutely no clue. Okay, there's a ghost. Hmm. Yeah, we can do this. Nope. How dare you. Okay. Oh, oh, my quest. No, I was dodging out of the way, you dickhead. I didn't see the my quest guy. Ugh, the valiant knight. Okay, good, we got a steak. Do you see the giant jellyfish? Or no? Perfect. There we go, there we go. And now... Wait, what are you shooting at? Shoot at him! Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Why are you mad at my jellyfish? Huh? Oh, okay. Get him! Yeah! Oh, your quest is over. That's what I thought. Now, what about you? Convene the festival of war. Honor General Rodan with a warrior's glory. It's in your hands, Sir Jaren. So what, do you just like repeat those words to yourself over and over again for eternity or scar sir, scar scourge? Star Scourge Heirloom. It raises strength, which is something we don't need. Perfect. If it was one of those that raised dexterity, I would take it. I would say thank you. Fantastic news. I <laughs> just wanted to do a quick chug on my way up the ladder. What's that? Hmm. Oh, the jellyfish is waiting for me. Isn't that nice? There's actually a way gate here. Castle ahead. Dude, does this way gate... The way gate takes you to Red Main Castle, just like the other one did. Why well, don't really care about that? Ah. Sorry, jellyfish. But we're, uh... We're actually not going that way yet. Here, let's go, let's go fight the lion guy. Obviously, uh, it doesn't have a name. <sighs> Careful. Ooh, let's go over here. Look, there's a chest. Qatar. Oh, jellyfish, please. Okay, um, so. Let's go. Oh, sick. See the wondrous physic. Leave my jellyfish alone. Wow, look at you. Whoa. Get that blood loss. Oh, get him, get him, get him. 
Wow, he was really not up for that for very long. Ash of War, Lion's Claw. Nice. Okay. Let's take this. Oh, it's a rune arc. And you can't, you can't open this. So... Oh, we can go up this way though. How do you go up over there? I think there's a way over there actually. We should try to get to it. See if there's any valuable treasures here. Otherwise this fort was... I'm not gonna say it was a bust, but... I don't know, it just wasn't that great. I guess my standards for good loot have gone up. In the... 60 hours I've played the game or so. Oh, There we go. <gasps> okay, I thought I was gonna die there. That was very scary. Okay. I made it. Careful. There's enemies skulking about. Like, perhaps, this way. Or, no, there's just treasure. Um, oh, ten mushrooms. That guy had ten mushrooms? Okay, somebody was having a good time, huh? Okay, you can hop down there. There's actually... Oh, wait, no, that's, that's the entrance. That's the main entrance. And there's nothing else over here. There's a crank! The crank opens it up! And the crowd goes wild! Yeah? Yeah, like right here? Look at that. Look at that. I opened it! Of course, now there's no reason to do anything with it. We've already done everything there is to do! Oh. <laughs> there's, a, there's weirdly a touch of grace right here. Pretty weird. What are you shooting at, dude? Yeah. Dude, it's fine. You're about to turn into ether or whatever. Plasma, you're all right. I haven't, um... I haven't fought any of these doggos yet. I'm kind of scared, too. Okay, I killed one. It wasn't that bad. They look a lot scarier than they are, I think. Fort Gale North. What do you mean, Fort Gale North? It's way down here. <laughs> wait, wait, what? What kind of a name is that for a side of grace? Now there's... What is this? I was about to say, this is like... A mountain of filth over there. It's not really anything, actually. Got it. It's a summer smithing stone. Yeah. Um. And then we already did these. Oh wait, are these these ruins? We haven't. They're not on the map. Forsaken ruins. Oh shit. These are the ones with the um the crows. These are scary looking crows. Can you imagine if things like this were real? Like. Man-sized crows. What if I just... I'm scared. Oh, oh, you go down on the ground? Dude. Oh, holy shit, I hate this. I don't know why. This, like, freaks me out. I guess it's not that bad. I just didn't want to, I didn't want to mess with them. Okay, so we're here in the ruins. Now, there's actually stone sword keys here. Which is kind of annoying. Um, yep. Yeah. Oh, we can do it! We can go in! Oh, we only needed one! What's down here? What's up? Armament ahead. Nice. That's great to hear. Oh, okay. That's all it is? Sword of Saint Trina. Okay. 
Can I just say all the interesting equipment is apparently causes sleep buildup and it's another INT. Well, it's more strength deck, so. All the cool equipment is in Kaelid, who knew? Well, I mean, the Sword of Night and Flame was in Lyrnia, which that was pretty fun. And I might go back to the Faith build at some point. Um, but, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of rocking the Moon Veil right now and, and loving every minute of it, but it's good to know that that is another option. Okay, now, I was a little too intimidated to take this on earlier, but there is a caravan here. Hmm. Nice, dude. Oh, that sucks. Big unfriendly doggo right there. And there's crows over here. Oh, it's just... We're gonna have to clean this place up. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's like a T-Rex, dude. It's seriously like a... It's like a doggy T-Rex. Uh -huh. T-Rex. They put the Rex in T-Rex. Okay, I think I gotta take this guy out too. Or, oh wait, is there... Is there anything in there? I don't know. Nice, dude. I love it. I love this sword. It's badass. So how... How do you get... These always have treasure in the back, so how do you get it? Oh, it's this way! Nice. Great sword. Oh, cool. Is it really that great, though? <laughs> That looks a lot like the sword from Berserk, actually. Like, a lot. That- that is the sword from Berserk. A coarse iron lump of an ultra great sword. That is a Berserk reference. Okay. I was, it took me a second to read the description, because that's the way that it's described, um, in Berserk. Which, by the way, if you haven't checked out Berserk, and you like the Souls stuff, um, it's worth taking- taking a look at it. Um, I preferred to read it rather than watch it. I know that there's like a mong or a manga versus anime debate that I don't really want to get into, but um, I've been I've actually been reading because uh, Kentaro Miura, the um, author, recently passed away. What? And uh, so. Right, right, yeah, how dare I fuck with you? I'm so sorry. My mistake recently was like, well, you know what? I've never experienced uh, Berserk, so I'm gonna check it out. And it's very, it's, it's very clear where a lot of the inspiration for Souls comes from, is what I will just say. And, and that's not a bad thing at all that I'm saying. Wow, you can do a, you can do a summon? Nice, dude. Look at how quickly they both went down! Yeah! Jeez. Yep. Nice, dude. Yeah, these these uh, these crows are scarier than the dogs. I think the the doggy rexes, explosive bolts. Nice. Wow. Uh, how many? Where where do these dogs come from? 
is what I have to ask. Another rune arc. Nice. I'm trying to figure out like what else I want to do here. I mean, do we want to go to the minor urge tree? Actually, we haven't been that way yet. Yeah, we could go that way. Come on, jellyfish. Let's make our way to the minor urge tree. There might be an urge tree avatar there. Kaled edition. I wonder if they all kind of fight the same or what. Wait, there's a bunch of jars there. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Is there a cave nearby? Returning to the root, so there's a cave down there. Okay. How do I get down there? Holy shit. Okay, let's hop down, actually. This is where I came in earlier. This is one of the first places I went to in Kaelid. Look. Oh, that's not the Erdtree avatar, is it? It's something kind of similar. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll go down. It's the uh, putrid avatar. Whenever I can get up, would be great. Oh. Or you can just die, just completely die. That was horrible. I didn't even damage the guy. Great showing, dude. And let's see, we'll do this. And yeah, should be no problem. Let's get our stamina back. Yeah, or, you know. Nice. Here we get her! Yeah! Oh, wow. There we go. I haven't been two-handing this, have I? Well, that serves me right. Green burst crystal tear, flame shrouding cracked tear. Yeah, actually, it's really worth Killing the uh, Erdtree avatars just to get the uh, tears for the wondrous physic. Definitely worth it. Now, you said that there was a. Oh, there definitely is. Uh huh. Okay, the minor Erdtree catacombs. Let's check it out. We're making pretty good progress on the map. Um, I think I've done everything that there is to do, like, like, between the border and, like, this line that I'm about to make. Right... like that. I think I've done everything in that region. That's pretty good progress to make in one video. Now, there's a lot still left to do, but... I'm pretty... Oh, you asshole. Why do these guys have to be in like every single cave? You know? Um, okay, I guess I'll go... Glove Wart 4? What is this? Is this Scarlet Rot? It sure is. Oh no. Oh, I hate you. I'm just gonna do this. Oh yeah, you like that? 
Huh? Come on in. I hate this. These things are just creepy and weird. Goodbye. Farewell. Okay, I'm gonna run out. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna run back. I did all that for some for for a butterfly. Love Wart Five. Okay, it's actually it's actually not that bad. Another Glove Wart. Yeah. Glove Wart Three. Smithing Stone. Is there a way up here? No, I don't see any. I don't see any ladders. Okay, and then we'll, I guess we'll go down. Maybe there's a way to go up too later. We'll find out. Hi, buddy. You're not my buddy. Ow! Okay, you wanna die? I love that ability. That is really cool. The stance is just really cool. Look, I'm just, I'm ready. I'm prepared for any enemy that I may face. Oh, is that so? <sighs> Imp head wolf. Oh gosh. Uh, you can still do it even with no uh, FP either, like I just did. It's just not as cool. Okay, so what happened? Somewhere a heavy door is open. But like, I don't know, I don't know where that is. Visions of door, therefore try lift. Understood. I do wanna uh, level up real quick. Because I think I have enough. Oh yeah, I do. What do we want to get? Maybe endurance? Yes, maybe endurance. So I can hit more and so my uh, load can go up. My equipment load. To specify. Forgot it made you respawn. Uh, okay, so wait, do we go down twice? Let's take a look. Oh, yeah, you do go down. Look at that. That's tricky. Ugh. Danger ahead. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's actually, it's actually, oh, the get off of me. It's better than the Scarlet Rod, I guess, but not by much. Okay, glove work four, and then come up. Mm -hmm. There's crabs in here. Which makes me worried we're gonna see a giant enemy crab. Little crabs, okay, lots of little crabs. They're pinchy. They're pinchy and they're crawly. The crabby family. Goodbye. What's up here? Oh, uh, who do you think you're fooling? I like how they pose as statues and they're like, believe me, you gotta believe me. I'm just a. You gotta believe me, I'm just a statue. I'm just a statue. Honest. Just a statue. Don't even do it. I was gonna do some bullshit ranged attack on me and I was about to lose it. What? Uh, imp head wolf, I got another one. I've got two of those? What am I gonna do with two? I've only got one head. 
Sacramento Bud. We got two of them. Okay. Calm down. It's time to calm down. Glove Wart 5. I'm liking all the uh, Spirit Ashes upgrades here. Okay, this is... Back to the... Now, remember we were in this earlier and I was like, huh, I wonder how you get up there. Is there not a boss? I forgot that we actually went up a side path to get over here, so... Because if you remember, so there's the ladder, right? And there's the crabby, crabby cakes down here. All right, but then the way that we even got up here was this narrow staircase. I'm, okay. Okay, you wanna die? We can, we can arrange that. Or, all right. Look at my scarlet rot, it keeps going up. How does it keep going up? What? How does it, how did it go up so much? It, it's still going up. Well now it's going down. Are they giving me scarlet rot just by looking at me? We need to go that way now. Oh, 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 I hate these things. Just no good. They're up to no good, and they're making trouble in my neighborhood. This is where- this? Traitor ahead. What? What do you mean, traitor ahead? Oh, somebody was saying there's like a hidden wall or something. Be wary of pear. I don't like that. Pear ahead? And not even a good type of pear, not a juicy pear. Nuh-uh. These, a pair of these guys? Fuck off. I'm killing the scepter one. Okay. Yeah, let's get this. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We got him, we got him. Okay. Now you. I didn't think I could fight this thing more times than I already have. Oh, but as it turns out, there's even more of them, wow. Darn. Let's go. I missed the visceral, I know that. I do have eyes and ears. I did miss it. That's okay. Mad pumpkin head ashes? That's pretty cool. All that for some mad pumpkin head ashes? That's actually... That's actually pretty sick! I'd summon a mad pumpkin head. Oh, look, the... The big jar, the you ain't getting in jar is over here. Now, is he... I think he's an NPC. Oh my gosh. Can we... I, I can't even get over there. Oh no. It's over this way. We can't quite get there from here. Look, there's a, there's a archer. Well, there's archers, except he's blue. What's in there, the Colosseum? 
Now I'm curious. Okay, I've gone to Grail's Dragon Barrow. And uh, there's some temple thing over there. Ooh, the Divine Tower of Kaled. How did Kaled get a Divine Tower? They were just handing them out to anyone, I guess. Um, let's go up here if we can. So this path is gonna branch out to the left and I'm gonna take it that way. Yep. I'm gonna go up that cliff and then we're gonna check out uh, what the jar has for us. Really wonder where Alexander is. I hope he's okay. We gotta get to this shack up here. This is a divine side of grace. A divine side of grace. A side of grace. They're all divine. These guys are actually kind of easy. Oh, except when they hit you. They do a lot of damage. Oh, that's what you get, you idiots! Those rams. Those rams that were like, ooh, we're gonna come, dude. Mind your own business. Oh my God. I'll kill more of you if you don't watch it. That one over there is just like, leave me out of this. Fair enough, I will. There's a merchant. What does the merchant have for us? Something good, I hope. Well. Yeah? There's been an age since I've seen a customer. How can I help here at the end of the earth? I don't know. Can you help? Dragon wound grease. Festering bloody finger. Right, invading. I forgot about uh, the white mask guy. Gravel stone. Lost ashes of war. Uh, gateway. Hidden cave. Okay, I'll buy these. I'll buy this. And this. Thank you. Have a safe journey. Yeah. Um, I'm going to... Oh, wait, no. Isolated merchant. Yeah. Okay, so I don't have to put that there's a merchant there now, actually. Fort Gale and Kaled houses a gateway that leads to Redmain Castle. That's useless. Okay, I already knew that. There's a hidden cave in the town of Celia. Look beyond the graveyard at the precipice. Mmm. Once I go there, I will uh, keep your tip in mind. Now, oh, we're way up here. Whoa, how are we supposed to go down there? Oh, I think you have to, I have to go down to the trench. This is much more of a pain in the ass than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. I mean, we could just rush through it. Now, see, this is uh, the river well where I came up earlier. I mean, we could just... Yeah, those things explode, which is kind of funny, I guess. Hello. Great, okay. Oh, wow. Try to do the visceral. But I, I mean, frankly, I'm probably not gonna need it. Here we go. There we go, we got him. Yeah, I missed the visceral on the on the chest. I was trying to get it. Oh. Okay. There actually is something there. Okay, you actually don't have the range that I thought that you did. Fantastic. Oh, 
Oh, I tried to dodge that and it just didn't work. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Okay. This guy's actually like pretty tanky. I'm gonna use the wondrous physic. Get a little dex bonus. Oh, gotta go up. Gotta go up. There we go. That was big. Gollum great bow. Fantastic job. And now, let's go up here. Talk to this guy. This guy's big. He's a lot bigger than he looked like from a distance. Look at that in the side of the cliff. That's a big skeleton and it's just in the water. An eternal grave. As all graves are, eternal actually. So, um, hello. Yeah. You can now see the Knight of the Great Jars red summon sign. What? Touch red summon sign. Oh. There's a couple of these guys. Wait, wait, what is it? What am I doing here? Summon this adversary. Uh, okay, yeah. Dude, sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that actually... Whoa! Okay. Whoa! He actually does a lot of damage. Whoa. Okay, I didn't realize who I was dealing with. Hmm. What if I fight? Excuse me. You're not gonna be shooting at me the whole time, are you? Okay, somebody's got a shield. Interrupt. This guy, okay. All right, maybe later. Maybe I come back later to the Great Jar. I think I'm actually gonna end the video there. We basically spent most of the video doing this region right here, but we did like almost everything that I found there. I mean, there might be like another ruin somewhere here or, I don't know, we also did this stuff. We, we went through this. So really it was more like we, we went, we did all the stuff in this part of the map, which is a pretty large chunk. Um, I got this cool katana, which I'm really enjoying. Watch this. Whoa! Coming right at ya. And, um, I'm excited to see more of what Caleb has to offer besides just, uh, red scorched earth. We've got this big-ass castle red main here. 
which I think I'm gonna do last, Redmain Castle. Um, just because it makes sense to save the castle for last. I enjoy doing that with Radio Lucaria and Lyurnia and uh, Stormvale and Limgrove, so I think that's what I'll do. Um, maybe next video we go to Celia, Town of Sorcery. Maybe we like, here's what I'm thinking, we round out the highway, okay, and then we check out Celia, Town of Sorcery, because it seems like a main location. And we kind of do everything in this section of the map. Maybe we even get bold and we go over here, too. But uh, we leave all this and all this for for later. Um, I think overall, actually, Kaelid not going to be quite as extensive to go through as Lyurnia. And actually, looking at the map, yeah, it makes sense. This is more of a Limgrove size continent. I would beat a bunch of bosses in this one too, which I'm very happy about. Um, Double Mad Pumpkin Head, the Magma Worm. Uh, a few others, and uh, yeah, it was a good time overall. So, thanks for watching the series. I'll see you in the next video. Think critically.